Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. I hope you're having a super swell day. I want to talk to you about something that I see as a problem with a lot of people or something they struggle with. And they, you might be in this category and you may not know that you struggle with it. But when I explain it, you'll say, yes, I, sh- I struggle with that. So it's the idea of choruses in your song and how to make them sound bigger as you go through the song. Now, I'm not saying it's a rule that every chorus has to sound bigger, but we've we've been conditioned, so to speak, for songs, especially bigger arrangement songs that have lots of instruments and uh, are fairly energetic, we, we're kind of expecting them to progress and get a little bit bigger. Now, that doesn't mean we have to add 10 more guitars every time we add a new chorus. It just means something usually needs to change. Now, this it's the same concept of where verses and choruses, you tend to have maybe a little less energy in a verse that builds into a chorus that has more energy. But from one chorus to the next... You, if you don't have any changes there, there's a chance it can sound a little boring. Meaning, chorus one sounds identical to chorus two and chorus three. As you can see on this song in front of me, which is from my latest EP called Free, uh, I've got three choruses here and three actual verses, which is which is a little unique for me. So I'm already a little bit, my back's against the wall, having to make sure this stays interesting the entire time. One big technique was to have someone rap for verse three. That, that changes things up quite a bit for me. But the choruses themselves still sounded somewhat the same. So I'm going to walk you through my thought process on the, the one thing that I did, and it only took a few minutes to do, that allowed these choruses to grow and get bigger from one to the next. So let's go through and listen to each of them. Here's the first chorus, and it's the, the least, or it's the, it's the most stripped down of the choruses in the song. There, specifically, I'm talking about listen to the lead vocal. It's just a single lead vocal, and that's it. Land of the free, home of the brave. At least that's what they say. But if we cross the tracks and see, can't really be land of the free, home of the slave. Okay, so that's the first chorus. It's it. The whole song is fairly simple as far as instrumentation goes and, and that's the chorus okay so then we do another verse and we come into another chorus and the only thing I made different here is I doubled the lead so it's fairly subtle it's not a huge oh wow thing it's just a subtle addition that uh, brings in a little more energy for chorus number two free, land of the free, home of the brave And it's subtle. I've got it. You can see the volume here. It's pulled back quite a bit. It's just meant to give it a little extra depth, uh, make it a little less naked, so to speak. Okay. So again, that's not nothing huge. I could have removed that and you probably wouldn't even tell too much in the song. So I'm not going to harp on that too much. But this final chorus was killing me. Okay. So I did a couple of things, but let me play it for you kind of before um, the before and and how I got to the decision to do what I did. So this chorus, I'm going to play the whole rap because it's just awesome, but you've got this epic rap that happens over about 12 bars, and then the chorus comes in, and all I could think of was when that chorus hits, it just gets empty, and I didn't like it at all. It wasn't any different from chorus one and chorus two, but with that big rap and transition, I wanted there to be more, and there wasn't. So here's, I'll let you hear it for yourself. Yeah. Can't take away from all the men and women who gave their lives on the battlefield with a battle's real, but America's a battle still. Built off the back of black brutus, blood, thirsty opportunists, bid us to the highest consumer. Bundling trips on slave ships, bodies shackled to the docks. Fast forward to present day, they try to tell me it's done stop. When they throw us in these slums, miseducate all our youngs, and they flood us with these drugs and these guns, then judge what we become. I'm just saying, let's be specific if you want statistics. One out of 15 is in prison. Coincidence. This is nonsense. I see the same pattern. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. I scream for my people until we're treated equal. Free, land of the free, home of the brave. One thing you might notice that's a little different there is there's a couple a couple additional vocals. So that's the first thing I tried was if chorus two had a doubled vocal, well, let's make chorus three have a tripled vocal. So I've got the lead vocal up the middle and then two doubles panned left and right. And that helped a little bit, but it still just felt, I mean, you probably felt it. As soon as we got to that chorus, we're thinking, yeah, 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 you're like pumping your fist in the air, here it comes. And then it's kind of a wah, wah, kind of a letdown. Doesn't really do it for me. Free. 
Land of the free. So the tripled vocal is cool and it helps, but it didn't do it all the way for you for me. So here's what I've done. I decided the entire song I've had no harmonies. So I decided to sing a basically two part harmony, or I guess a three part total harmony, singing harmony one and two are the same part, harmony three and four are the same part, just doubled and panned left and right, and decided to sing them a little more aggressively and to mix them a little more aggressively so to have them right in your face along with the lead vocal but down in volume so they're just sitting right there at that sweet spot of you can hear them you can pick them out but they're not distracting but they're also adding a lot of energy so here are the harmonies i recorded sounds kind of weird without the lead let's add that in home of the brave at least that's what they say but if we cross the tracks and see it can't really be land of the free so they are they're not up front and, and that was a big decision for me it takes a lot for me not to take my harmonies and jack them all the way up in the mix so i kept them down i kept them subtle but they added just that extra level that push over the edge to get this to the energy level that i wanted so here's coming out of that rap into that chorus, uh, which I think works a lot better. The same pattern, hashtag Black Lives Matter. I scream for my people until we're treated equal. Free, land of the free. What? I don't hear them. <laughs> That's because they're muted. <laughs> Let's try that again. The same pattern, hashtag Black Lives Matter. I scream for my people until we're treated equal. Free. So now, before I was totally BSing you because they actually weren't even playing. But now you can hear them, and they're just they're just right there. They tickle your ears left and right, way on the outside. They're just kind of in that pocket right there, but they work really well, and they add this extra energy and interest and width and all those good things to the chorus, which made it go to the place I wanted it to go. It took me a while. I kept getting to this chorus and thinking, Bleh, it doesn't hit hard enough. So I tried automating the drums a little bit louder. I tried bringing the instruments up a little bit. I tried several different things, and it ended up this was the solution this time. So that might work for you if you've got a project where you need just some extra energy in a section, or maybe it's a bridge or a chorus or whatever. Try adding in some extra vocals, pan them out, and then mix them pretty aggressively. As you can hear, those things are being slammed with a compressor. And a lot of times I don't do that, but in this situation, I thought it worked really well. That's it for me. Thanks for listening and watching. If you haven't subscribed in YouTube, please click that like and subscribe button. I've got more fun stuff coming to you. And if you want to check out this song in its entirety, along with uh, the other four, the other three songs on this four-song EP, then you can head your little self over to joegildermusic.com and you can get it for free. <laughs> and it's called Free. See what I did there? Very cool. Um, it'll load up here. That song we just listened to is free, but there's also some great other songs there as well. I'd love for you to have them. Just click on one of these Get the Wave or MP3 version. Click on it. Enjoy it. Have fun. Thanks for watching. See ya.